All right, let's see if we can improve our picking system. Right now, it is a lot of repetition. So these are our new shapes. Yay for new shapes. Let's get rid of those. They still exist. We're just not drawing them. So here's our picker system as we last left it. And we're doing the same thing every time. We get a random number, we check the threshold, and then we add a new layer. We create a, um, a new random number, we check the threshold, we put a random, so this is repetition. And obviously that's something we want to avoid. We, um, we want to make this a little bit cleaner. Um, also, it's hard for us to you know, like go in here and say, okay, the circles, 0.3, and change all these one by one. Um, there's a better way to do this. So how can we do that? Well, let's draw it, uh, let's write it somewhere else where we can keep it out of the way. And this is my approach. There are probably six dozen different ways to do this. But what I'm gonna do is create an array of objects that represent each of my different layers and their qualities. So I'm gonna call this layer constructors. And these are the things that I'm gonna to use to construct my layers, these objects. And let me show you what I mean. This is what one of these objects will look like. I'm, it's gonna have a name in case I ever wanna print it out or get some you know, human readable output. It's going to have a weight, like 0 0.3 is what we've been using. And that's gonna be used in the picker to uh, decide whether or not it gets drawn. And then we need to create the darn thing, right? So let's call it init for initialize. And that's gonna be a function that returns that layer object, okay? So I'm gonna have one of these for each one, and I'm just going to copy paste them in here so that you don't have to watch me type them out. And right now they're all set to 0 0.3. This test lines is slightly different. Um, you can ignore that, okay? And right now I'm setting that to one, and you'll see that that means it doesn't show up. So it, it, this is much easier. I can always change what initializes it. I can add new new things onto it. Um, you know, basically this is just a way for me to create a new layer object, check its weight, all within a single loop over here. So we can get rid of all this. And I'm going to create so layers is still gonna exist. We still want to create a bunch of layers and put them in the layers array. But how we do that is gonna be a little bit more efficient now. So we're, we're gonna loop through that uh, array of objects, layer constructors dot for each and uh, layer con or lcon is my shortcut there. And for, I'm going to do exactly what we were doing. We're gonna get a picker. It equals a random number between zero and one. And then we're going to say if picker is greater than uh, the elcon.weight, which is exactly what we were doing before. We're just checking it against a decimal number. Then we want to create that layer and add it to the layer layers. Yep, layers um, array. So layers.push elcon.init. So what that's going to do is it's going to loop through Let's see if we can pull it out here. This will be easier. It's going to loop through this array. So it's going to come to this object. And it's going to say, create a random number, and then check that number against the object's weight. What's the weight? 0 0.3. Make a decision. If I do, if it is above the, the weight, then I'm going to create that object. If not, it's going to do nothing. So if it does create the object, it's going to run elcon.init. So Elcon is our object that comes from here. It's gonna run the init function, which is just going to create the outline shape. It's gonna return that into here, the resulting object. That object gets pushed onto layers. So at the end, why don't we see what we have? Console.log layers, and then see what it looks like. Let's put this back over here. Ooh. Kind of ugly, but we have our six things happening here. We've got these six, here we only have four, and so on. Okay, so now we're, we're creating darn stuff, darn tootin', look at that. Um, some of these combos are obviously better than others. 
Um, and you can also switch around the order that you loop through these in. Maybe it makes more sense to, maybe you want the centered shape to block everything out. Well, that should be at the end of your loop. Um, and, and so on and so on. Or the dotted lines, maybe those should be lifted up to the top. Uh, actually, it looks like they are pretty far up at the top here. Maybe you want them above ring of lines, move them down, uh, whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to change these to, like let's change stepped hexagons to be slightly harder. And we're, we're gonna find that there's one, two. Well, doesn't seem that much harder, does it? Um, let's make it impossible. We should never see one. So we've eliminated it completely from the possibilities. Cool. Some of these centered shapes are a little bit too big. You know, we could go back into centered shape, for instance, and change our system. So how would we do that? Um, I'm saying that it can go as far as all the way out. I'm saying, why don't we not make it that big? And now they're much smaller on average. They're not getting quite as big as they were. Cool. So that's, that's, how, we, that's how we make our damn system. We're done, really. The only thing that's left is to draw the grid of these. So what's going to happen next is we're going to take this um, this idea of a collection of layers and make it into a crystal object by creating a crystal class. And then basically we're going to loop through positions on our, on our canvas and just say draw crystal, draw crystal, draw crystal. And each time we do that, it's basically going to do this. It's going to run through that loop of layer constructors, it's gonna add a bunch of layers, and then it's gonna render all those layers for us. So everything we've done right here is gonna happen multiple times on our screen. So we're just gonna wrap that up in a class, and I'll show you how to do that next.